In this video, I will show you how to create the Marvel introduction that is so popular and there are a lot of tutorials being created but this one is for shortcut. One of my students asked me how to create it and so this is how you go about doing it. Let's dive in. The first step to creating this introduction is to select all the Marvel characters and the images that you want to use. There are places that you can find them online like Pixels or Pixabay. I will put links in the description and download all the images that you want. I suggest that you resize the images to 1920 by 1080p so that shortcut wouldn't struggle rather than using large images that you want to resize it later. However, if your computer is able, then you don't have to worry about these steps. The next step then is to select the images and place them onto the timeline. I suggest that you just use a one second between each image and place it there. Arrange all these images according to the sequence that you want. You may also want to use the size position and a rotation filter to position that images according whether you want to rotate this or maybe you want to zoom in to a certain position on that image. Once you have done all those, and I am just going to uh, duplicate this to save time. Uh, once you have done all those, what you want to do is to export all these images into a video first. By exporting the video, it will make the next step easier when you want to use the blend mode filter later on. After you have exported this video, bring the exported video back into Shortcut. The next step is to create three tracks. Place the video that you have exported earlier into track V3 right at the top. You may want to change the speed of the track as well. Uh, in this example, I'm going to change it up to five times because my uh, images was two seconds long. You may want to do it at perhaps three or four so that the images are changing fast from one scene to the next. Next, go to new generator and select color and choose the red color. Now you want to make sure that you change the alpha channel to 255 otherwise your color will not show up which is a solid color. Click on OK, open and then drag this color onto track V1. Extend it for the duration similar to the clip length on track V3. Next, select the track with all the characters. Go to filters and add a blend mode and change the blend mode to multiply. Uh, if it seems the image is a little bit dark, you may want to add the brightness filter for the video clip on track V3 and you can also use the opacity filter to make it slightly more transparent so that uh, when the words come out, you can see it and also the red will show up brighter. Next, go to track V2 Go to New Generator, select Text, and input whatever text that you want to use. I will just use the word Marvel. And once that's done, drag it down onto Track V2. With this selected, you may want to adjust your size of your text. I am just going to place the text right at the center. and also uncheck the font size, right? So that the text is much larger. You may want to add an audio track if you want to. You can search for the uh, theme song from Marvel Online. However, you may want to use different music for your project. That's all about creating this Marvel intro in Shortcut. If you have found this video helpful, do give it a thumbs up and check out what's on the screen right now for other shortcut editing tips. If you haven't checked out the official shortcut training, do check it out as well. The links is in the description that will teach you everything that you need to know how to use and maximize shortcuts.